to have you back. The International Women's Society is a non-governmental organization founded in 1957 to provide support and empower women, families and communities to improve welfare and enhance growth. Through the years, the organization has executed humanitarian projects in various sectors to improve capacity building. Society owns a skills acquisition center in Lagos where it trains women in various technical and vocational skills, including hairstyling, fashion and tailoring. Now, in 2010, the organization established the IWS Day Nursery in Djibouti, on the state to cater to abandoned babies and children. The school provides a conducive and functional environment with adequate caregivers and infrastructures to shape the minds of youngsters. Joining us now to throw more light on this initiative is Iforma Monye, who is president of the International Women's Society. It's good to have you with us. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon to you. All right, before we talk about widows, I would just like us to touch on women's rights a bit. Um, how empowered are women in this uh, country? Yes, we've seen them in politics, philanthropy, business, as it were. But how impactful have they been over time to societal uh, development? Women are important. <laughs> they make the, um, the changes. Definitely. Um, yes, and women uh, are, are impactful in Nigeria. There's a lot more to be done, but we're definitely um, having impact. And it's important that women's rights are taken and women are part of decision making. Because, um, as I always say, it helps the economy. When women are empowered, any economy in the world does much better. So it's important that we give women the power and the um, opportunity to be able to help the country. Indeed. All right, so how is your organization catering to these and empowering women? We're empowering women, children, even men. Um, so over the years, we're 65, and since 1957, we've been ensuring that we're empowering women. We have a day nursery that is actually in Yaba that was started in 1961, wow. and the day nursery is still running. We started it to be able to ensure that the children of market women and the underserved have um, a solid start in education, and it's still running. We have some alumni that people are famous. Chaka Silva went there. Um, we have some people, well, well-meaning women and um, ch men, actually, that went to the day nursery. We also have a home for abandoned children in Ijebo Day. And once them, they're brought to the home, we ensure that they're t well taken care of. They go to school and, um, and they become proper citizens of the country. We actually have a skills acquisition center on the Lekki Expressway, and there we train both men and women to be able to get the skill sets if they don't have formal education, catering and event planning, even adult literacy. So if you can't read and write, you can come there. You learn to read and write, fashion design, beauty, and all our courses are NAPTEP certified, so they do get certi um, certifications and ensure that they can be able to do that. Definitely a lot is going on here, but uh, when it comes to issues of helping others, funding is a key factor. So. Where are we with that? Funding, we've been doing it for well many Nigerians, even um, members, we will pull money and that's how it started. It was started by well, um, well to do women who wanted to be able to give back. So it's both by Nigerian women as well as international women. So they, they were doing well in their jobs and in their community. So they said, let's pull what we have and be able to give back. And they, we've gone around, we've spoke individuals, organizations. And what we want to be able to do is that with regardless of funding, so yes, funding is important. We still have to ensure that we have impact. So you can see from the work we do, from the people we've been able to educate that work is going on. So mm. we get funding from everywhere and among from ourselves as well. Very good. All right, so this funding now, I guess is still out towards promotion of education and, and also skill acquisition. Why is it important to have the girl child have this attributes and qualities? It's important because, again, as I mentioned, it helps the um, country because you increase your GDP, you increase um, the productivity of the country. So it's important that the girl child specifically, most times are overlooked. Now, with the world moving to IT, you see less girls actually get involved because so most times they don't even have the opportunity. So one of the things we've done is we've started chess programs and STEM programs specifically for the girl child and to ensure that girls who would never have had the opportunity are able to partake and participate in it. So we do that and at the last International Day of the Girl Child we highlighted that and um, we also looked at STEM specifically which is science, technology, engineering and maths. That's where IT comes. That's the future. So the more um, girls are exposed to it, the more they come interested and it, ex it affects every area of our life, whether it's even fashion, whether it's food. 
IT is the future of technology, so it's important that they get involved from mm. the beginning. Interesting you should mention the word exposure. And uh, there are some tradition and uh, religious beliefs which seeks not to encourage uh, the girl child uh, at least explore their full potentials. Mm. So in that process, how have you been able to break down that barrier? And uh, what has been the challenge of you being able to convince the girls to actually or uh, try to help them in this regard? Again, the same time, I think it's, like you mentioned, exposure, having those conversations, whether it's the parents that don't understand why it's important, and to say, look, by, by educating your child, you're also helping yourself, because in the future, you're increasing your income, they will be able to take care better, better care of you, you'll be able to uh, get more, uh, more things you need in life and the basic necessities. So most times I say it's really having those conversations. What are the issues? So the people that have that issue, whether it's a religious belief, mm -hmm. what exactly is stopping the child from being um, educated? Mm -hmm. What are the issues? And have those conversations to say, it doesn't, the girl child being educated in no way affects her or your family. If anything, there's more benefits, whether it's economic, whether it's even the, st um, the standard of living and how long your child will live. So it's just having conversations to say, look, we understand their fears, but let's talk about them. How would educating your girl child really help you? And in the long term, the long run, once you have those conversations and you're able to allay their um, fears and show the positives, then people get on board. All right, let's talk about relevance because times are changing and there is more exposure. We're seeing young girls becoming wittier about the day mm -hmm. and social media has exposed people to the world and the appetite has changed and no one wants to start small anymore. No one wants to, for, for lack of a better word, um, do jobs that will lead, on, lead the path to maybe menial, menial careers. They want, to, they want to have a big, they want to have the flashy cars, have all the expensive hairs, live in big mansions. How do you tailor this program that has been in existence for the last 50 years to the young girl of today to ensure that she still gets that requisite education and that foundation for the future? So that's so important. It's good you mention it, mentoring. So we do mentoring of the, of the girl child and the girls and even the women as well to say, look, let's understand what the issues you're going through and what you're facing and also be the right role model. Like you mentioned, there's no fast um, microwave way of getting it or fast track. You must have the fundamentals. You must go through the rudimentary training to ensure you have the skill set. So it's having those discussions, understanding what it is. Yes, you can have the flashy car, but you have to put in the work. You just don't get it immediately. You have to um, pay your dues, you have to pay, do the time and ensure you have the skill set so that even when things go wrong, you can. there's something you can fall I back on. I know fighting against social media because social media seems to be painting a different picture that you can have it just by the snap of your hands like that. Social media is a tool, so it's how it's used. So it's again, you look for positive influence there. And that's why I said mentoring is important. Okay. Like, yes, you're seeing these things, but you don't know what they did to get it. So ensure that you're going the right way and the right track to be able to get it. You won't get it immediately, but eventually, if you put in the good work and you have the right values, you will get there. So it's a tool, like anything. It's how you use it that's important. And we must encourage um, our girls to ensure that they have the skill sets because like you mentioned in the future you need to be able to use social media you need to be able to have the IT skills you need to be able to do robotics you need to be able to do coding Indeed. it's what you use it for mm. that now comes in play right. very good looking at the positives and of course enlightenment for the girl child Ifoma Monye President International Women's Society thanks for joining us today uh, thank a, you a big pleasure thank